Did you know that you were born with a clean slate, free from all the insecurities that you have now? It may be hard to believe, but all of the doubts and fears that you have today are things that you have learned over time. The good news is that you can use the Law of Assumption and Neville Goddard's teachings to eliminate these insecurities and manifest your desires more quickly. In today's video, we will be discussing how you can overcome your doubts and insecurities using Neville Goddard's teachings and the Law of Assumption. But before we get into the details, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest uploads. Most insecurities begin in childhood, while others may develop later in life. However, no matter how deep-seated your insecurities may be, you can always overcome them. Contrary to what many manifestation coaches claim, it doesn't take too much time or effort to get rid of them. All it takes is the practice of some simple techniques, the incorporation of easy habits into your daily routine, or the changing of some beliefs in your mind. As Neville Goddard teaches, you must get rid of your old self in order to embrace a new life and manifest your desires. This means that you must let go of your insecurities or any beliefs that are hindering your manifestation process. According to his teachings, your insecurities stem from the state of your mind. Your consciousness gives rise to your beliefs, which in turn shape your daily activities and ultimately, your fate. Neville Goddard states that anything the mind can conceive and feel is true, and the subconscious can, and must objectify it. Your feelings create a pattern from which your world is fashioned, and a change of feeling is a change of pattern. The quality of your life depends entirely on the state of your consciousness. Every thought you have, no matter how big or small, is a product of your subconscious mind. It's important to note that you cannot experience anything outside of the state of your mind. Whatever happens in your life, whatever you experience on a daily basis, is a manifestation of your thoughts and the product of your consciousness. If you think you're a victim, it's not because you are, but because your subconscious mind is telling you that you are. If you believe that you are a winner or a loser, it's your mind that makes it so. In this world, there is no such thing as good or bad, beauty or ugliness, truth or falsehood. These are all concepts that we have learned and set standards for. We have allowed them to become part of our mindset affecting our lives in both positive and negative ways. If you accept something as true or believe in it, it starts affecting you. There is no external power that can force you to accept something as true. If you have doubts or insecurities, it's because you have allowed them to take hold in your mind. But the good news is that as a God, you have the power to get rid of them at any stage of your life. You are the operating power so if something is affecting you or causing you to act in a certain way, you have allowed it to do so. No state of consciousness can exist if you don't feed it. Whatever state you are currently aware of that is not your preferred state must be rejected and let go of in order to no longer be active in your consciousness and thus in your life. As we go through life, we accumulate experiences that shape our beliefs, thoughts, and actions. Our subconscious mind acts as a storage house for all of these experiences and memories, shaping our perception of ourselves and the world around us. However, what happens when these beliefs are limiting and hold us back from achieving our full potential? Can we change the programming of our subconscious mind to achieve our goals and dreams? According to Neville Goddard, a spiritual teacher and author, the answer is yes. In his teachings, he suggests that our subconscious mind plays a significant role in manifesting our desires and that we can change its programming to achieve our goals. In this article, we will explore Neville's philosophy and learn how to access and alter our subconscious mind's programming to remove limiting beliefs and insecurities. The subconscious mind is responsible for many of our automatic actions and reactions. It operates behind the scenes directing our behavior based on our beliefs and experiences. It is said that our subconscious mind is always active, even when we are sleeping, and it is the source of our dreams, creativity, and intuition. Our subconscious mind stores all of our beliefs, thoughts, experiences, and memories from childhood to the present day. It is like a big storage house, and everything we have ever learned or experienced is stored there. 
However, not all of our thoughts and beliefs are conscious, and we may not even be aware of some of the things we have stored in our subconscious mind. Our beliefs and assumptions play a crucial role in shaping our lives. They act as filters through which we interpret the world around us, influencing our thoughts, emotions, and actions. Our beliefs and assumptions can be positive or negative, and they can either support or hinder our growth and success. For example, if you believe that you are not good enough, that belief will influence your thoughts, emotions, and actions. You may feel insecure and doubtful about your abilities, which can lead to self-sabotage and missed opportunities. On the other hand, if you believe that you are capable and deserving of success, that belief will also influence your thoughts, emotions, and actions. You will feel more confident and motivated, which can lead to positive outcomes. Neville Goddard's philosophy is based on the law of assumption, which suggests that we are the operators of our lives. The law of assumption states that what we assume to be true becomes our reality. In other words, our assumptions and beliefs create our experiences. When we assume something to be true, we activate our subconscious mind, which then works to bring that assumption into reality. This is why Neville suggests that we should assume the feeling of our wish fulfilled. By imagining and feeling as if our desire has already been fulfilled, we activate our subconscious mind and attract that desire into our reality. So how do we change the programming of our subconscious mind to remove limiting beliefs and insecurities? According to Neville, it all starts with a desire to do so and the intention that it's done. We must first recognize that our beliefs and assumptions are holding us back and have the desire and intention to change them. One technique that Neville suggests for accessing our subconscious mind is to use our imagination. By imagining and feeling as if our desire has already been fulfilled, we activate our subconscious mind and attract that desire into our reality. This technique is called mental imagery, and it involves visualizing our desired outcome as vividly and realistically as possible. In life, there is no one to blame but oneself. Every single thing that has happened and will happen in our lives is a direct result of our own thoughts and actions. If we feel insecure about any area of our life, we must understand that it is a self-inflicted curse. We are the ones who have built a prison around us, and we have the power to break free from it. While it is true that most of our insecurities are a result of external factors, such as the people who brought us up or the ones we spend time with, the fact remains that we are always capable of getting rid of them. Our society plays a significant role in shaping who we are, but we are the ones who allow situations, events, and things to change our thoughts. We decide what things can impress us and what cannot. In some cases, we have been victims for so long that it feels comfortable. It feels like home to be a victim, and our subconscious mind becomes attached to that victim state of ours, making it hard for us to let it go. However, if you have come across teachings that inspire you to fix a problem or understand something that had eluded you until now, then you don't need to do much. All you have to do is let go of your insecurities because you have found the teachings that can change your life. You need to throw away the old version of yourself and embrace a new one. Once you recognize and embrace the new version of yourself, all your insecurities will vanish because they existed in the previous version. The question that arises is, how can you manifest a new version of yourself? The fact is that your entire life is a reflection of your thoughts or, in other words, a manifestation of your thoughts. Therefore, you can create a new version of yourself by changing your thoughts. As you grow, your actions and decisions determine how you will perform in a particular area of your life. So by changing your thoughts, you can step into a completely new life. The new version of yourself will be entirely different from the old one. You will have different thoughts and beliefs. All your fears, insecurities, and doubts will disappear, and you will start a new life. Enjoy manifesting. Enjoy manifesting. Enjoy manifesting.